<laughs> the headroom, baby, you gotta. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? Okay, good. Now, you start the DVD, and maybe you can pull out a little bit. So my, 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 my shot is not that tight. And uh, yeah, but I'm recommending great films. That's what life is about, great art. Right? Right. And that's inspiring. That's what lifts you up. And where are you right. going? You going to be around? Yes, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, there's plenty of food over there. So you help yourself. Get whatever you want. No lobsters and shrimp. Well, come on. What about wine and champagne? Everybody's asking me for drinks now and beers, but I, I cannot bring any beers to the studio, right? I can't, and he's the drummer. You're the drummer, right? Yeah. No, not you. Him, the one with the hair. Yeah. <laughs> you are you the drummer? No, right? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I know. He's not a. He's just not afraid to make a statement, is he? <laughs> not at all. Is the sound coming good now, Gloria? Are you okay? Danny, is the sound sounds better? Are we all right? Okay, I'm just doing my job. I want to make sure that the sound is good. Come on, here, guys. Get over here. Get over here. Shut up. Uh, she just, she just, she just kidding. Yeah. Where's the other man? Just, yeah, that's a good idea. Be careful, Gloria. If that table falls when we're talking. There he is. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a heart attack if that happens. Okay? Which? Don't do that. Oh, God. You just let it be. Gloria, she gets excited like I am. Guys, don't take it personal. Aren't you glad we came late last time? Don't take it personal. Oh, when you have topsy, when you go in life and you have all kinds of um, obstacles and things and you know that you have to deliver and do your best. Mm -hmm. You know, this is something that it, it, it comes from my heart. You know, I really want to do my best and mm -hmm. I want my guests to come here and have a good time. And they always do. Yeah. They always do. Because yeah. they know that I'm not here. You're one of a kind. Thank you. <laughs> That's why. I don't have bad intentions. They, they, what you see, what you get with me. Yeah. And I want to have fun. I don't want to get bored. I know. Okay. <laughs> So this is, I'm not Baba Watchers, I'm not Katie Couric, I'm not, you know, none of those ladies. I'm not boring like them. No. They are boring. No. Yeah, right? No. Barbara Walters, she's such a great journalist, but she's a little stiff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In front yeah. of the camera, it's just me. I just like, noticed mm -hmm. her not too long ago. Anymore? She was a little, like, mm -hmm. like a little. I'm good. You're no, okay? thank you. Like a little, you know, there was a stiffness there I didn't notice before. Are we okay with the sound? Uh, Danny, you gotta talk to me, baby. You gotta talk to me. Are you okay? Are you listening? Are we listening? Um, and we gotta, we gotta, do we have the camera shots? We have the opening ready, Glory? I want to make sure that we hear the opening here. How are we doing with the sound? I gotta return my camera equipment from last night, so. Um, I need some answers. Only once. I need some. I like the turquoise. It's sure. got good taste. I was going to wear a turquoise dress. This is kind of funny. You see how we're connected and say, no, I'm going to go for black. Thank God Thank I did. And look, I did half black. Michael, you can then talk to me. You are in front of me. That's what counts. That's me. That's a busy street, right? <laughs> I said, you know what? Let me lay down. Let me take a nice shot. Let me have some fun here. Let me rock this boat. Mm -hmm. Now, did I look to you that I'm a little afraid in that picture? Mm -mm. Did I look stressed out? Mm -mm. Did I look unhappy? Mm -mm. No, I, I, I'm relaxed, right? Yep. I'm smiling. You see my, 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 my chops right there, right? <laughs> OK. I want to make sure, Gloria Messer, that we got, yeah. Can we run the opening? I want to make sure that we have the opening ready. Just in case. Do we have the opening ready, Rich? I think so. I think so. You think so? I think so. I saw her queuing it up. Uh, she's queuing it up as we speak. How's her sound coming along? Um, Gloria? I heard her voice. We need uh, Tupsi's voice. I need to hear her voice. We've got to do a sound check. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, Is it waist up? Yes. Okay. Most likely, yeah, that's that. Yeah. You see how low the cameras are? Mm hmm. They're pretty much. Uh, Under my skirt. Then, yeah. <laughs> it, your face, your face is so beautiful. Your eyes Thank are you. beautiful. God. Testing one, two, three. Are they uh, doing my sound? Yeah, can no? we do her sound? Danny. Uh, Gloria, guys, you gotta talk to me, baby. I can't hear you. Guys, gotta talk to me. Gloria Messer. I think they have your sound. And what about her sound? I think they have her sound. Oh, I need to double check the confirmation, oh, baby. I, <laughs> I checked it, they have to double check it because they're actually doing it. Right, okay. Uh, Gloria Messick, can you talk to me? We need to hear the opening as well. I'm going to take that hat away from you. You know, I'm going to let you walk away with that hat. Not when I'm around, Tipsy. Um, yeah. You know what? A million dollar smile. A million dollar smile? You think so? Absolutely. Oh, oh Michael, you make my night. Tipsy, don't get jealous. Uh, no, it's okay. a million dollar smile. Yeah, what? Well, it's awful. I mean, it's, it's too low? Yeah, too low. I'm tall. That's Rich. Fine. Yeah. You want to give me a lower chair? Rich. No, but this oh, is a chair. Baby, I'm sorry. She's asking if we can go up a little bit with the camera because uh, it's a little too low for her. Richie, she's too low, Richie. I can't bring her up on the volume. Who's low? You or me? She's low? Gloria, I am low? You. Wow. And for me to be low as loud as I am? Yeah. <laughs> so, That's a problem. I'm doing these things to sabotage your production. I do it because the director has asked me to. Yeah, baby, I know. It's just that no. she feels a little too low for her. She's a little... What the hell is this doing over here? Put it here, baby. I didn't put this here. Put the clip there. No, put it here. Okay. Right there. Okay. Can we do the sound? Her sound is great, right? Her sound is all right. I okay. Well, let's double check my... Yes, please. All right. Fix it. If I fix it and you change it, I'm Boy, this is like a comedy routine. Oh, yes, it is. It, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know the stress that we got to go through before we go live every Friday, Tipsy. I tell you, i got to keep my mind together. Topsy, not Tipsy. <laughs> topsy. I said Tipsy? Yes. Oh, you could write me, please, as many times as you want. Topsy. Topsy. You sound have a top hat. Topsy. Okay, right. I got it, baby. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce the whole name? Topsy Durham. Powers. Powers. But right. the D, the Durham. It's Durham? Right. Dur it's Durham. The Durham. H is silent, but it doesn't matter if you say Durham. Durham. If you say Durham, they'll know how to spell Durham it for the Powers. website. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Topsy. Topsy. Yeah. Topsy. Look at yes. that face. I don't know, Michael. You got your hands full with this one. Yeah. Do you? No. Oh, well. She. I can Fries. tell. <laughs> I can tell. But Topsy is your 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 beautiful face is very striking. So men Thank love you. beautiful faces, and they love beautiful bodies too. Hey. Coming up on five minutes. Okay. Uh, but is I the hat too low? Like, are you seeing the shadow hat, in the face? The hat or? Coming along? Okay. Don't worry, Rich. 
we do what we have to do. No honey. problem. I feel like I haven't spoke at all yet. <laughs> really, Just yeah. Get my sip it. Should I sip it? No talk. I'm not going to host. Sissy needs to, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm not hosting. You host. I feel like uh, I want to look at the TV and see, oh, what? Yeah. Can what's I see what's on the, the TV? Right, yeah. So I have to remember <laughs> to look. Uh, right here. Yes, don't forget your glasses. You have your glasses on. Okay. When you, yeah, because sometimes cause I, uh, oh, God, I got to see. Oh, you I can't got, see your notes I, without. I, I, no, I can see them. Yeah, she's only, she, you, she wanna, do you want to hear you. you want me to still talk? Okay. Hi, my name is Topsy Durham Powers. I was born in New York, even though everybody thinks I was born in Texas because my Father was born in Texas, but I never went to Texas until 2004. Kidding? The, yeah, they started a, a Eddie Durham Day there in his his hometown, which is San Marcos, Texas, which is smack dead in the middle between San Antonio and um, Austin. So you can land in either one and then drive to San Marcos. So. They well, called me up. That. Yeah, they called me up and they asked me, you know, they told me uh, they're doing a... Why were we hearing some feedback? Why were we hearing some feedback, guys? They were doing a Eddie Durham Day, uh, you know, starting this in 2004, and could I come down? And um, so I did. I went down and they had some local bands play. They had a big festival in there. Tell the, take yeah. a look and tell me if this is okay. Do you like that? I don't know which one is tapes, but... That's hey, fine wait, to me. What is this Porter there? It's not Porter, it's Powers. Yeah, Powers. It's Powers. Can we correct that? Can we fix that? Talent. Uh, Stratos. That webs.com. Right, there you go. Much better. Okay, okay. Rich, baby, make sure only that they have Powers. Oh, She's yeah, big great. Fit. And it's no E in Topsy. It's, it's no E in Topsy, guys. Yes, it's, it's no E song. and Topsy. Can we fix it? Yes, no E and Topsy. It's no please. E and Topsy. T O P S Y. Topsy Durham. I'm here by myself. Listen to me very carefully, guys, and let's not panic, okay? Topsy, there is an E right there that is is not right. It's, it's Take it out. without the E. Just cross it out. There you go. We got it down now. Yeah, Topsy. Right. There are hand power. So you happy now? Yeah, we gotta make sure because things happen. It's like you wanna make it you know as, as great as possible. And you're looking hot. And you see, Topsy, I tell you right now, the turquoise in your uh, your blouse mm -hmm. with my little you see that that little caricature right there on the left side? Ginger? Okay, that's the blue, the light blue. Everything kind of matches together. Oh, okay. You like it? We good to go? Oops. It looks turquoise, right? We're, we're matching by nature. Yep. And we both have them black. We have them black. Like I said, I was going to wear some turquoise. <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah, I know. Screen matches your shoes. Yes, yes, yes. Can you see the shoes? Can you see, see the, the shoes? shoes. Right, so you're just talking. I'm just looking at this. Uh huh. It's a little too high. Oh, I'm hot. Now okay, I'm make sure hot. that. Ooh, hot yeah, flash. We yeah. got three minutes at least, right? <laughs> no, no, we have less than a minute. <laughs> with or without the hat? Let's not. I'm just afraid with the sound. No, no, don't worry about the sound. I just, I, I can't. I yeah. want to make sure like, that it's. I want to make sure. Like that. Okay, one listen. minute. What? Now, when you talk, you're, you're going to talk Thank into you, it? Baby. Or should I, wait, leave it like leave that. Leave it like that. I'm not going to touch it. Mike? No, no, she's all right. She's so all right. So why is it facing the other? Just, we don't have time to okay, do that, baby, all right, right okay, now. Okay, all right. I just, one thing that I want to make clear is that once we start, I'm going to ask, are we okay with the sound? Are we yeah, okay if I'm we'll, going we'll live? Right. I want to make sure there's not going to be no busing. We'll be, we only have a minute. We'll be all right. Can you shut the door, baby? Can we still have speed on the tape? The tape is running. Okay, I love you, Gloria. Look at that editor and see if it's okay. Is it okay? That's fine. Durham yeah, Jazz. That's fine. perfect. Perfect. Yeah, but I, lo I, 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 I love the hat. I just love Topsy it. Topsy has to have a top hat. <laughs> I, 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 I just tip it a little bit? Yes, whichever yeah, it way. It shows a little attitude. Okay. Okay. Mike, catch. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> huh, look at those hands. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He petrified me. I tell you, those interviews. I mean, are we live? 
We're not live yet. Oh, we're not live yet. Okay. Uh, I you. said, where's the opening? But if it was no opening, I'm ready. We're Be quiet. Quiet on the set. the voice of God, Gloria Messer, right there in the control room. I can hear your voice from here, baby girl, but you know what? I'm fine. I am under control. I know that I don't look like I'm under control, but I can pull this off, guys. And Michael, you keep smiling. You keep laughing. Hey, I'm so happy tonight because I have a great, great, great guest tonight. Topsy. I'm not getting your name right. Yes. Topsy Durham Powers. Yes, thank you. Oh, my God. I rehearsed your name a hundred times. I, I did. I swear to you. It's pretty Do easy. I'm, pretty well. Not that easy for me. I have to rehearse over and over and over. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. So Thanks happy. For me. Yes, yes, because we so have much. your lovely husband. How long ago? I have Michael Powers here. March. March. Mm -hmm. Oh, she remembers. And we mm -hmm. have the man right there. He's sitting in front of me, guys. You see when I'm looking at the camera? He's right to the left, right to the right. Hi, That's my wife. So we love you, Michael. <laughs> I, I got I, I to gotta say hi to my sponsors. Thank my sponsors, please. I cannot forget. How can I forget? D'Amico's, the best Italian specialties. My God, Madonna's Brothers Bakery. Bruno, Salon and Spa, look at my hair, I'm not bragging. I know it's not your hair, Topsy, <laughs> but hey, I'm your competition here, so you better get ready, because I'm not kidding. I know you can smile. I have I a can, lot of hair. Uh, well, I don't have a lot of hair. They cut a lot, well, my hair was damaged. You know, dyeing my hair so many yeah. times, you mm -hmm. know what it does to you? You die. You can't do that. Right. But anyway, Quinton Bailey, my boy, we love you, we miss you. I want your cakes here tonight. I'm going to keep praying to see if I can have you here next week. Okay, I want to mention, before we get into this, interview. Last night I went to the ACM movie theater right on 42nd Street in Times Square. I'm so excited, so happy because we have two films uh, competing for the national, for the, not the national, for the New York Film Festival. One film is from Costa Rica directed by an amazing director Hernan Jimenez. The name of the film is The Return, El Regreso with Barbara Jimenez, a very dear friend of mine. She did a great job. Barbara, Hernan, I was there. I'm so proud of you guys. You did a hell of a job. That movie's competing, I'm so proud that we can do good films in Costa Rica. So I was there last night doing the interview right in the terrace. Wow. They brought me upstairs. There was people from HBO there. Mm -hmm. And the guy said, you know what? You got what it takes, the guy yeah. said. And said, just fix your hair. Keep your, keep your shades on. Don't take your shades mm -hmm. off. So I conducted the interview with my glasses on. And I want to mention the other film that is being promoted as well that I, I did last year, uh, Carmen G with Pierre Angeli, Linas. Our film is competing as well, so I just want to say thank you and my God, I'm, I'm happy for the whole cast, for the entire production. You know, this is beautiful. Making films is so hard. It, it just doesn't happen every single day, so I got to get the word out. Great. Now I have permission to talk, right Michael? If you say yes, if you give me your thumb up, can I continue? I'm here. Okay. Top seat. So we're going to do the job here. I already talked for about what? Two minutes. Three minutes. In other words, I'm going to zip it. Now it's your turn. Okay, so I want to ask you, look at that hat. <laughs> can, we go, can we go back to that shot? Look at that, Gloria. Look at that profile. I'm kind of like missing your eyes a little bit, Topsy. I need to see those beautiful blue eyes. Look at that. Like Natalie Cole. Those eyes that she got? They were actually from my dad. <laughs> oh, my God. Like your eyes. My father's from Texas. and Your uh, dad, which is Eddie Durham. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. But I, the first thing I want to ask you is about you and your husband. Because I brought your husband here back in March. And like I said to him behind the scenes backstage, and don't get too cocky, Michael. I was petrified. <laughs> okay? I was petrified because I said, oh, my God, I don't know, mu know much about music. How am I going to pull this off? Yeah. So it was quite an undertaking for me. I was petrified when I met him, too. You were petrified. <laughs> that's what he does to women? Ha! Huh? You see? That's you what he does that? to everybody. He, that's what he does to everybody. But he's the meekest person you ever wanted to meet. Uh, yeah, but he's nice, the, the sweetest guy. Is, yes. This way, mm -hmm. he got the, who got the upper hand here? Well, uh, neither one of us. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're both mature enough to know that, you know, Relationships, nothing to play with, you don't. Oh, yeah, you know, it's a job, Michael. Yeah, you don't know. Uh, and uh, I'm afraid that you got your plate full. It's, it's yeah. you know, women were tough to handle, but this woman is very striking. I don't know how you do it, if you ask me. <laughs> so, can we talk about how you guys met? Yes, yes. Can we go back in time and, and talk yes. about that moment? Okay, um, actually, it ties into my dad because I was contacted by someone in his um, hometown, Johnny Armstead, who was the curator of a museum there called the uh, Calaboose. And they started in Eddie Durham Day in his town of San Marcos in Texas, which is right between San Antonio and Austin. And they contacted me through ASCAP and um, asked if, if the family wanted to participate in this event. And I said, yes. So 2004, I went down to Texas for the first time. Um, 2005, I went down for the next event, the second event, and 2006 was the centennial because my because my father was born in 1906. And, From Texas, uh, right? And so 2006 was really the big event. Um, now my brother plays guitar, Eric Durham, and he his band. Uh, played in 2005 and uh, obviously he was should have been on 2006 but his wife was pregnant at the time and having a lot of complications and she was due kind of within the two week period of August 19th and you know the end of August and because she was having complications he could not leave New York so I you know I'm frantic I go to him who who can do this job it's, <laughs> Sam Ash is releasing Eddie Durham guitars this year they're going to have him at the festival they were calling it the year of the guitar and my brother without hesitation Michael Powers you have to get Michael Ooh. Powers so I um, contact I contacted his uh you know, agent, and um, we hired, to make a long story short, we hired his band to come down um, to Texas and perform in 2006 at Eddie Durham Day, and that's that's how we kind of met. So I... Uh, Do you remember the first time that you saw his beautiful eyes? Do you remember well, what I, went I, through your mind? I actually went I to, know the to, to tell the blues first <laughs> with the contracts and all that to have him, you know, sign everything, and then after we signed everything, he kissed me on the cheek. Ooh, and he got a little too close too fast. <laughs> and the, my first thought was, hmm, ah. how was it flirting with me? Ooh, <laughs> just like that? He was playing, and, uh, and you knew it. You knew what he was doing. I had an idea, yeah. And you liked it. You said, I, I can problem. go with this. Oh, yeah. So now we're going to Texas the next week. So, I mean, I was down there a week early. He came down and uh, to do the show, and I picked up the, his band and, you know, catered to that, to his band, you know, uh -huh. specifically and uh, on purpose. And uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I like by that. the end of the festival, you know, uh, you Michael was telling everyone, I'm in love. And uh, he was so my he girlfriends was, were all laughing and saying, he was he's following you. And I, quick. I was, wasn't really that quick. It's just the, that flirtation period was, what was the kind of intense. But then uh, when I came back to New York, we started dating. You, you started know, going dating. To dinner, and then, and that was a couple of years. And, and it was a lot, lot of work. In the making. Right, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But Ma was, Michael's very easy. He's Michael's not a, very easy going. I can see that. Yeah, a, I can see uh, that. Of difficult course. Difficult person. But relationships are hard to handle, too. Mostly, yes, but Michael's a very easygoing person. He's, He's a not, gift from God. Absolutely. He's a gift. So are you. Thank you. Okay, Thank we're going to keep bragging here. I'd love to clone him for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only one Michael Powers. He is taken. Yes. He's going to take him. <laughs> Now, let me ask you something. I'm sorry. He's got brothers. He you know his brother? brother look like him? His brother won the Vince Lombardi Award. Okay. He played for the Jets, Michael. Who did he? Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles? Eagles? Yes. Mm -hmm. The New York Giants? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. He looks just like you? No, he's big. <laughs> oh, he's a big, but you're big too. Come on. Yeah. He's he, a big man. He lives in Florida. Yes. Uh, 
<laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was kind of interesting because last time I wanted to ask him about that, but like I said, I was petrified. Right. And I kind of had to let it go, but not tonight. So Michael came, he did the festival and completely turned it out. I mean, the, the Texas State University, their freshman day is the same day as Eddie Durham Day. It falls in the same weekend. This okay. weekend is when all the freshmen come, come into the college. And they have a separate event across the lake. And he started playing, he did his sound check, he, he was playing Psychotic Reaction. And all the kids came running across the lawn. To, to Michael's show, and our festival actually got in trouble for that. But, you know, what are you going to do? Good music's good music. Good music you know. is, and music is universal festival. language. Yeah, exactly. It's yes. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about your dad? Absolutely, yeah. yes. So that was the start of, uh, that day was actually proclamated by the mayor in um, San Marcos, and then they got the senator, uh, whoever was the senator that covered that state at that time, I, I don't remember his name, he also proclamated, um, Eddie Durham Day. So some funding came in and they started, they've started to build a museum there, the Eddie Durham uh, Museum, across the street from the Calaboose Museum. And the woman, uh, Johnny Armstead, who was the curator of that museum, has since passed. Very dear to my heart, this woman. And um, she has a permanent Eddie Durham exhibit in her museum as well. Beautiful. So, well deserved. So, yes. Any specific memories, Topsy? You can go well, back in okay. time in about your dad. How? Yes. Because there's so much that we can read about your dad. Right. It's there's, not everywhere on the internet. So I can right. read about him for days, for weeks, right. for months, I guess. Yes. But uh, I want to hear something that the audience doesn't know, that we right. don't know. Something that, not, I don't want to use the word intimate, but you know right. what I'm saying. You know what I'm coming from. Well, I think um, the difference between my dad and a lot of other uh, musicians is that he had a full career. And at 50, when he was 50 years old, he married my mom, who's 25 years younger than him. And uh, they had five children, and he stopped touring completely and stayed home for 15 years and enjoyed his children, raised his children, enjoyed his children. He had a lot of siblings who died uh, young from uh, the wild party life, drinking and, yeah. you know, and uh, he, I guess he, he said that he decided at a certain age, he stopped all, all of that and um, when he had a family, he was going to stay home and enjoy, uh -huh. you know, raising children. And so we uh, basically grew up with him not knowing about anything I mean, that he did. He had a piano there. He had his instruments. He wrote right. music. His friends came over. Basie came over. You know, and they'd do stuff. But we, who's a Basie? We didn't know. You wow. know, but we had a, you know, we had a pool in the backyard. We had a big house. We had dogs, cats, ducks, turtles. You know, pool you table in the basement. We took, yeah, ping pong table. You know, <laughs> so we had like a whole world of just family life, you know. He was a family um, man. Absolutely, yes. He was uh, completely you know, devoted to my mother, and and after 15 years, when, uh, you know, we were pretty much of age, you know, grown up, um, then he started doing a little bit of touring, but not much. He joined the uh, Harlem Blues and Jazz Band, mm -hmm. and uh, they worked at the West End um, uh, for quite a while through Phil Schapp. I don't know if you know Phil, mm -hmm. but Phil started this series oh. of, uh, at, the, at the West End where he brought all these great jazz musicians out of retirement basically and uh, put these bands together and um, started they started swinging up there and that kind of brought him out of the retirement mode right and then he joined um, the Harlem Blues and Jazz Band incredible but what do you miss most about your dad what's what's what, what do you miss about your dad his big stories oh he was a he great only, storyteller he had great Texan stories about oh. snakes and snakes? rattlesnakes and oh. catching them we have plenty in Costa Rica the rattlesnakes oh uh, yeah oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, I know you do. Yeah, it's, 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 the weather gets hot out there. Huh. You know, and, you don't want to get. Um, it's, there's, I seen once, once right. one of those rattlesnakes in. It's you very know. scary to see that. No, I mean, okay, the, those were like the stories he would tell us, you know. But but a lot of the stuff he would tell us. Uh, you know, that we thought were like just big tales about the stuff he did and the places he'd been. He'd been around the world three times by the time he married my mother. We thought they were fairy tales, and then as we got older and studied oh, his history, oh, interesting. we found out that all of this stuff was true, was true, you know, and he had really played with all these people and done all these things and been...